Hey yogis, welcome back to your mats. Again with me, Felicia. I'm tapping into the principles of yin. So if you've been following this series, thank you. Appreciate you. I hope that these are helping get you through uh, these next, you know, this entire month, kind of this whole thing that's going on around us. And we're on to our third and last principle of yin, which is to hold. So we've practiced some breath work. We'll continue to focus on that. And then we focused on finding our edge, which is your first principle. And then the second principle of being still. Now we're gonna focus on holding. We'll go through an asana first so you can physically feel this in your body. And then we'll talk about how this can relate off of your mat. So we've been practicing a lot with our half butterfly. Let's do a full butterfly this time by bringing or having a seat, if you're not already at your seat, bringing the soles of your feet together, knees can come out wide. For this, we are gonna hold it for a little bit of time. Of course, my phone is over there, so I don't have a timer. Um, but in yin, we can hold these poses anywhere from three to 10 minutes. In class, I always keep it between three and five minutes, but we're gonna hold for some time. So we're gonna set ourselves up. Again, any issues with the low back, like we practiced in that half butterfly um, video, feel free to grab a blanket, have a seat on the blanket. It's gonna help elevate the tip, <laughs> the hips, so your pelvis can tilt and you can find that forward fold a little easier. If mm -hmm, you have a block or a couple blocks nearby, feel free to grab those. Grab two, because I usually need two for this one. So in the end, when we come into these poses, again, like we've been practicing, we're gonna find those deep breaths, we're gonna fold forward, we're gonna find our edge, finding that spot where we're just starting to feel the sensations in the body. Then we're going to be still and we're gonna hold. So we're coming to our last sequence here. So starting out with that breath, always the breath. Go ahead and take your hands, move these blocks, to your ankles, just keeping hold of the ankles. You're gonna feel these in the, this stretch in the inner and outer hips. And you can take those heels closer to the pelvis if you know that you're gonna need a little more in those hips when we find the forward fold. You can take those ankles a little further away from the pelvis to create more space in the hips. And you can always, again, move when we're finding our edge, finding what works best for you. But for right now, holding the hands on the ankles, finding those three deep belly breaths, taking a deep breath in, belly rises, then the air goes up to the lungs, and on your exhale, take the exhale at the mouth, let it all release. Another deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale, exhale. This time, inhale, again, deep belly breath. And on your exhale, beginning to find that hinge forward. Again, hinging at the hips first, just until you start to feel that stretch in the inner and outer hips this time. And then we start to settle in resolving to be still. So finding your edge, that point right where you're starting to feel a sensation. We're not letting the ego kick in. We're not taking this too far, but we're also coming to a spot where we are feeling it. So this is different for everyone. If you're feeling it right here without that hinge forward, awesome, stay there. If you can hinge forward and it takes your forehead coming all the way down to the feet to feel it, awesome. That's your edge, but finding the edge and staying there. Not going past it, not giving yourself too much of a break. You can use those blocks as support for the head because we're gonna be holding. Don't worry, this whole time I'm talking, this counts as holding it. But you can set up the blocks, maybe one block will do it. Sometimes I need two. You can stack them up however you'd like. Resting the forehead on the blocks, um, cushions, pillows, stacked up blankets, books, whatever, they all work. 
So now we're coming into our third principle. We're holding. So the whole time we're holding this pose, we're breathing. We're still focusing on those deep belly breaths. Starting to calm the nervous system. We're being still, which means we're being present, noticing the breath, noticing the sensations in the body, noticing anything that's coming up in the mind. And we're practicing love, practicing being gentle with ourselves. There's no judgment here. And now we're holding. We're resolving to stay in the uncomfortable. Again, uncomfortable, not pain. If there's any pain, back off. You've gone past your edge. But we're just resolving to stay here. We're in it for the long haul and we're able to stay in this. So I will be quiet so you can find your stillness and find your hold. We'll take eight more breaths. next deep breath in beginning to press into the palms rising on up to sit to remove any props you may have and then gently assist the knees up towards the sky you can lean back into the palms and just windshield wiper very slowly the knees from side to side So that is your full three yin principles for your asana. It's all working on the hips and the legs a little bit. But again, coming off of practicing the asana, that hold, um, practicing that off your mat in your everyday life, <laughs> we're in it, <laughs> right? Every time they come out with another step in this process, we're holding. We're figuring out how to adapt and how to pivot and we're staying there. We kind of are being forced into this yin practice um, off of our mat. We're being forced to hold. And I don't mean forced in a bad way. I think, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, but the force just means that we have the opportunity to hold. So we have the opportunity to find our edge, to be still, and to hang out there. And I think that these three principles of yin can really benefit us off of our mat all the time, but especially during this time. So your last and final goal is to hold, to come into that breath, find your edge, be still, be present, um, really feel everything, and then stay there. Stay in that state of being present and holding and being with your breath and yourself. And hopefully, like, all those principles will, you know, help get you through. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this series. Be well, everybody, and I hope to see you on your mats very, very soon.